Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. <laughs> British Columbians tell me that they're angry that this government is giving our water away for next to nothing next to nothing to companies who can then turn around and sell it for millions and millions of dollars. How can this minister stand in this house and defend giving away a million litres of water for just $2.25? Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, the member will know, because it's been true throughout the history of British Columbia, that in British Columbia we don't sell water. We charge administration fees for the management uh, of that resource, and we manage it very well, and even better now that we have a new Water Sustainability Act. But I think, Madam Speaker, what I'm hearing as I've listened to the opposition comments is that they believe that industry should be charged through the nose for water. Industry like forestry, my, oh, they scoff. So then maybe it's not that. Maybe it's just industries they don't like that should be charged through the nose. Recognize the member, Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. So what I'm hearing here is the minister thinks it's A-OK -okay for a British Columbian to go to the store, spend four, five dollars for a litre of water, while she gives her friends a million litres of water for two dollars and twenty-five cents. I think that's what I'm hearing from this government. They think that's how it should go. British Columbians pay more, a corporation pays less. How can the minister stand in this house and sell out BC resources to such a large extent? Can the minister answer this question? Minister of the Environment. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And British Columbians throughout the consultation told us they were quite proud that British Columbia, throughout its history, throughout successive different governments, different parties, have never engaged in the selling of water as a commodity. In fact, we've always charged an administration fee to support the program of managing water. The member is wrong with respect to citizens of British Columbia. Groundwater domestic wells are exempt from the new fees, and for those on a municipal water system, their increase will be, get this, between $1 and $2 annually. When it comes to Nestle, bottling companies, beer companies, forestry, mining, oil and gas, they are treated equally. Nestle is charged at the highest industrial rate. If the members opposite think that we Thank should you, jack up rates on companies that they don't like, there's a new policy position. Yeah, yeah. 